This video is brought to you by www.prostockhockeysticks.com and we have a giveaway coming at the end of the video so stay tuned for that. If you've ever wanted to try the custom curve used by your favorite player in a variety of different flexes or if you're just looking for a unique stick, Pro Hockey is the place to go. We offer by far the widest variety of curve options on a very light top of the line stick for half the price of the big brands. And if you don't follow us already, our Instagram page is Pro Stock Sticks where we post updates on what different players are using and also post our new inventory when it comes in. All right, showtime baby, Patrick Kane tape drop video. So I do have this Kane stick here, but it wasn't actually used by him, so I can't really show you how he taped it using this, but that's not gonna stop me. I have lots of pictures ready to go, so put your seatbelts on, we're about to dive in. Before we even think about putting a piece of tape on this stick, we need to get the height right. So you can see that the Kane 1X Lite that I have is cut way too short. When we look at Kane's Master Stick for 2019, you can see it's cut right through the U in the Bauer logo, and it's right at that S in the word Elastech on the 1X Lite. So I have a 1X Lite here for comparison, and when we put it up against my stick with a ruler, you can see that Kane cuts off about 3.5 inches from the top. So the Pro Sticks on my website are 66 inches from the top, to the floor when they're straight up against a wall or 61 inches from the top to the heel so Kane cuts three and a half inches off that so you need a couple things to get this done first you need your showtime stick from prostockhockeysticks.com obviously you need thick white tape you need a tacky mat command grip the patrick Kane style one i'll put a link to where you can get these from in the description it's a shop in bc and they ship you need a fresh puck in Glasgow or Sherwood. This thing needs to be crispy. You need a piece of a broken stick or an extension. Either one will work. Uh, you need to use that to make a tape beater, which I'll show you how to do. And you need some scissors and super glue. First thing, get that end plug out of here. Kane doesn't use that. I don't want to see that in any of your pictures. Instructions for the tacky mac are on the back of the box. When we open that up, we have the rubber grip, and then we also have this piece of adhesive tape. So first thing, just take the backing off this piece of adhesive tape and then just roll it around the stick. Uh, tacking back in their instructions says to leave a little bit over the edge so it's easier to apply the rubber grip, but Kane doesn't do that. He does it flush with the end of the stick, so that's how we're gonna do it. So you wanna get some steaming hot water, put that in a bowl with a few drops of dish soap, and then you just pour that over the piece of tape you just put on. Now before we put the grip on, we need to do this the right way. So I got a few Kane sticks here to show you guys. He always puts the grip on the exact same way. If you look at the top left corner, that first diagonal rib that's coming down is always in the very top left corner on the front side of the stick. So just go ahead and pull the rubber grip over this piece of adhesive tape. Um, this was pretty difficult with the camera and it looks extremely questionable, so I'm going to skip through that and I'll show you once we have the final product. Just a note at the end here, uh, if you put the soap in the water, you can move the grip around quite a bit, so don't worry about putting it on perfect, like when you're just pulling it on. Uh, you can sort of shift it around once it's on there. All right, there it is. So you can see that the top left corner is done exactly like Kane does it with that first rib coming across. Also, the top of the tacky mac is perfectly flush with the stick, and on the bottom, it should line up perfectly with that sticker underneath. You can pull these grips a little bit because they stretch, but we want it to line up exactly with the sticker because that's how Patrick Kane does it. So we're not quite done with the grip yet. Shout out to my boy Jack for sending this video of his actual Patrick Kane stick in. You can see that Kane's grip doesn't move at all at the top, and he does this by putting a little ring of super glue at the very top of his stick. So once you're done and the handle looks perfect, just pull it back a little bit at the top and put a ring of super glue around the stick and that's just gonna stop that handle from moving around on you. So I didn't actually put the super glue on here, I'm just showing you guys what to do if you wanna be like Kane. Obviously he has unlimited sticks so he can do whatever he wants, but if you wanna remove the grip, I probably wouldn't put the glue. All right, so for the blade, we need thick white tape and we're going toe to heel. Uh, so the first thing I want you to note is that he covers the top and the bottom corner and he just leaves that little arch at the end of the toe exposed. Um, so take your roll of white tape and pull off a strip and then just pull it across the front of the stick covering those two corners. You want to leave a little bit of extra on the top side so that you can pull it over the backhand. You can see the trainer taping it here. That's how he does it. And also if you see pictures or videos of Kane doing it, he leaves that same little strip. So fold the little piece over to the backhand side and you're going to use that as your guideline. So when you're pulling the tape around on the backhand, 
just make sure that the outer edge lines up perfectly with that strip so there's no uneven overlaps. Then we're gonna pull the tape diagonally across and then we wanna have just about a quarter inch overlap right in that corner. So now going back to the picture of Kane's tape job, look at how consistent his overlaps are. They're between an eighth and a quarter of an inch all the way through the forehand side. So just pull straight up the backhand and then on the forehand we wanna get that same overlap that Kane does and we wanna keep those consistent for the rest of the blade. Now finishing off with the last piece on the backhand, you just want to pull it back across so again it lines up perfectly with that last piece of tape and there's no uneven overlaps. And then you want to rip it straight across the top of the blade. We don't want to have any overlap on the forehand side. So last thing here, you just want to grab your scissors and clean up the toe. So I wouldn't say I did as perfect of a job as Kane, but you can see the overlaps are pretty consistent. I love making excuses, so I'm going to say that was because I was holding a camera, uh, but I expect you guys to do better. So looking at the backhand side, you can see there's that little piece that's folded over at the toe, and then when you pull it back across, you need to make sure that it's perfectly lined up with the rest of the tape job. When Kane was younger, he used to use a lot more puck marks, and he also left more space at the toe, but now he's sort of shifted towards just the stripes, and my favorite Kane tape job is this one right here, when he does the three dark stripes right at the heel, because it reminds me of another time that Kane brought three stripes into the hockey world, and I'm not talking about Adidas. All right, so make sure that the stick is pushed right up against your leg so you have some leverage when you're pushing down. So you wanna hold the puck and you wanna use the corner to make the stripes. So you wanna push down as hard as you can and push fast so it makes a nice clean line. So we'll go top, bottom, and then a few down the middle. Finish it off with the three stripes at the heel. Same thing on the backhand, bottom, top, down the middle, and then finish off the heel. So like I said before, there's all different kinds of ways that you could do this, and even Kane himself uses a bunch of different styles, so do whatever you think looks best, and this is what I came up with. So when Kane orders his sticks from the factory, they come without grip, and then he adds the grip himself using a tape beater. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So just take a piece of a broken stick or a wood extension, whatever you have on hand, and then how I normally do this is I'll take a roll of tape and I'll tape down the stick one time. Obviously this doesn't have to be pretty. Once you get to the bottom, flip the tape inside out so that the sticky side is facing outward, and then go back up the stick. So this is already a grip stick and I'm not going to use the tape beater on it, uh, but what you would do is just rub the tape beater mostly on the corners of the stick, but also a little bit on the top and sides. Uh, Kane says that he adds more grip on the top part of the stick, not so much in the middle, and then down by the Pro logo here, he'll add a little bit more so that he can hold the stick lower when he's taking a one-timer. So that's my Patrick Kane tape job. I think it looks pretty good, but if you think that you can do better, then I'm going to give you the opportunity to show me. Uh, so whoever does the best Patrick Kane tape job over the next two weeks, uh, just post a story, tag Pro Stock Sticks, I'm going to choose the winner, and then they'll win one of our Showtime sticks in right or left-handed, whichever way they shoot. They'll win a roll of thick white tape to go with that, and a crispy puck, along with a Patrick Kane-style tacky mat grip. So I know I'm going to get a lot of questions like, oh, I don't have a square toe stick, or I don't have a tacky mat to use. Can I still enter? Yeah, absolutely. Still go for it. Um, at the end of the day, if someone uses a tacky mat, they're obviously going to get bonus points, or if they have a square toe stick, that's obviously bonus points. But... I'm going to choose the best one out of all the entries. So if nobody enters with a tacky mac, then somebody is still going to win. Um, so you never know what's going to happen. Send in your entry. Maybe you'll win. And that's all I got for today. Um, I'm going to do some curve reviews on the ice coming soon. So subscribe for that. And then also I'll do a few more tape job videos when we get new inventory. Thanks, boys.